Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 1st, 2019. So this morning, we are looking at the bulls being all kinds of fired up here. Futures are pointing to a big gap up open. It's it's kind of interesting because when you look through the news, it, it's it's really difficult to find a reason why. Um, CNBC is is has noted that um, European markets are up based on fresh new um, conversation about U.S.-China trade talks, but the only story that I can really find about U.S.-China trade talks is, is um, the United States kind of holding a hard line on intellectual property theft, and that is a major stumbling block in, in completing the deal. However, obviously today was the day when we were supposed to raise the tariffs, and the president has backed that off, citing that you know there's been good progress, so um, they've moved those tariffs back. No deadline on that at this point. But... Uh, so obviously that is good news, but I'm not sure that that's what's creating this move. Secondly, um, there is um, conversation out there that we're moving up based on the good GDP numbers yesterday. Okay, that seems a little bit odd to me um, that we're, we're going to be one full day delayed in reaction to good GDP numbers. But nonetheless, the futures are very, very strong this morning and we're pushing up solidly here. So if we look at the diamonds here, you can see we're right in here right now is where we're expected to gap up. Um, as I'm recording this, the uh, exact Dow futures number is up 182 points. So we're looking to gap right back up into this resistance zone up here. And we'll wanna watch that closely. Now, what I always want to watch for on a gap up open, particularly when we poke up into a resistance area, is I want to watch um, that morning gap. I want to be really, really careful with that morning gap. So let's take a look at what we're looking for or what we don't want to see happen. You know, we've seen morning gaps like this where we rush in and jump into the market and we try to chase in, but then only see sellers coming in after that point. So what what we want to see is we want to see one of those gap up opens where we actually get that push now this is a 15 minute chart and you can see here's one of those gap up opens where we actually see buyers pushing through following through to the upside that's what we want to see we don't want to see one of these gap up kind of struggle around and then down so as we approach that resistance area we want to make sure that that it uh, that we're actually getting buyers to step in to push it through so watch that uh, that intraday just a little bit we don't want to just blindly chase into this morning gap up and it's it's easy to do we get caught up in that fear of missing out oh my gosh i'm missing out on this chase in only to experience the you know the pop and drop uh pattern so um let's keep an eye on that this morning as we go through other than that we've got a trend that is certainly bullish trend is certainly bullish we did break this trend down the way i've got it drawn here but we're popping right back up into there so i'm not too concerned about that we do have this resistance zone to pay attention to up here and we'll have to see if we can actually push through there one thing to kind of make note of is that our volume continues to drop off and perhaps they're using they had enough folks get short in here perhaps they're using those short traders um, in a short squeeze to try and fire this market a little bit higher they need some of those buy to cover orders to move us a little bit more up but one thing you'll want to kind of take note of is that we've been in the, a declining volume situation um, and it just continues to um, to bleed out here so um, let's see if we have the bullish energy to actually poke on through those levels let's take a look at the spy real quick SPY um, also looking good this morning and it's once again going to push up here and maybe attack these levels up here and you can see we've got kind of a significant um, triple top level up here that we'll want to pay attention to and we're pushing right up 
this morning, we're going to come pretty darn close to pushing uh, right next to that this morning. So watch that close. Again, we want to watch for that potential of a pop and drop as we push the resistance. However, if that resistance breaks, oh my goodness, if that resistance breaks and we can actually pop on through there holding that trend, then we'll want to watch. We have the potential then to attack all-time record highs here in the market. Also, the, the same would be true on the diamonds. Um, all-time record highs could um, certainly be in play if we can break through those resistance levels. Let's take a look at uh, the cues. QQQ has a little bit more work to do. We're gapping up this morning, but as you can see, we have a resistance level right in here and a resistance level right in here that we have to deal with. And by the way, uh, let me back this up just a little bit more. These resistance levels in here have a little bit more um, congestion in them. So watch that close as we push up toward those areas. This morning, we're going to gap up here in the queues. We'll see if that can um, hold. And once again, we're going to want to watch for that potential pop and drop. We have a really nice trend in place, so if we can push through these areas, hey, um, all, all is well then. Uh, push through those areas and we could run up here and make that attack of all time highs, which would be truly amazing um, in my opinion. Let's uh, take a look at IWM. IWM um, holding up pretty well yesterday, um, stayed in there strong, didn't break down on uh, Wednesday's low held up in there and you can see we're gapping up this morning and once again we're testing this morning we're going to be testing this resistance level at the open right here right there and we have another level just above so watch those resistance levels as we gap up this morning trend is still good everything is there and if we start poking through those levels where we could be in really good shape here on IWM let's take a look at the VIX real quick the VIX hanging out here. We, we, um, as I mentioned in the last few days, this resistance level is going to be really, really important right now to the VIX. And we did run up there, test it, and pulled back. This morning's gap up, I would expect, is going to show that fear um, dropping out even more. If we happen to get a pop and drop, though, we could we could see that fear drop out and rally back up. So we'll want to watch that closely. Once again, I'm going to say that I don't think there's any problem here with the VIX unless we actually get a breach above this area that holds the support and we start moving higher that's where the market problem will come into play and so far no major worries here on the VIX let's take a look at um, T2122 that four week new high new low ratio this was some good news in what's happened in the last few days and that is we've kind of opened up that four week new high new low ratio by dropping us down here that does give us the opportunity to move higher and we're certainly going to test those limits this morning with um, 175 plus point gap up um, in the market. We may be pushing right back up here in that um, uh, major area where we, we, we expect um, some kind of a pullback. So let's watch. And this has been remarkable how long we have been able to maintain up in this area. And this gap up this morning is going to probably push us right back up here again. So kind of keep that in mind. We will have plenty of downside potential, but we may have a limited upside potential uh, unless those bulls can really just smash through that those resistance levels. We'll want to keep an eye on that we're just a little bit extended let's take a look at um, the economic calendar for today we have a pretty good ec strong economic calendar today with some big reports first thing right here before the market opens we have personal income and outlays uh, that'll be out at 8 30 a.m eastern and personal now, why do we have those in there twice? So that's interesting. Um, so we have that personal income and outlay uh, number coming out this morning. We have the PMI manufacturing this morning. We have the ISM manufacturing, which is probably one of the bigger numbers on the day that, to potentially move us around. And then consumer sentiment. So we'll want to keep an eye any any time there between 8.30 and 10. We also have a Fed speaker doubt that that moves us around and the baker hughes rig count um unlikely to move us at all so um 
few things to kind of keep um, on your radar as we move toward that open this morning. We only have about 50 companies reporting earnings today. A um, few companies, uh, not really any big market moving type companies will be reporting today. So a little bit of a break on that earnings calendar here as we move into the weekend so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits this has just been a remarkable couple of months in the market and now we're starting that fresh month with a really fresh look in the market really positive pop this morning we'll want to watch that closely i guess uh, march is going to come in like a lion let's take a look um um, if if this is excuse me if this is the first time you've seen these videos would you guys please do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment you know um, the growth of the channel has been fantastic and I really want to say thank you to everyone who takes the time to uh, to not only subscribe but to click those thumbs up buttons and leave those comments that makes a huge difference in the algorithm showing these videos to more people so Please keep up those efforts. Thank you so much for those who do. And I do try to respond to every single one of those. Um, everyone, let's uh, Oh, also feel free to share these videos with any friends, family that you might think could benefit. Post it on YouTube, Twitter, whatever. Um, that's up to you. And it's certainly available to, uh, to do that, to share it. So let's take a look, a quick look at some stocks that should be on your watch list now i want to clarify this that um, i think uh, one of the things that um, i always struggle with is i never want people to blindly follow um, anything i put out as as a trade i want folks to evaluate these positions so please understand guys these are not trade picks these are charts that are setting up possible um, uh, trade ideas for your watch list, something that you need to evaluate. So here are a few that I think um, should be on your watch list and, and things you might want to be paying attention to. Take a look at Altria here, MO, MO, RWO right way options members made some really nice money um, on um, Altria here on this pop out in this level. And you can see Altria has moved up nicely and now pushing this consolidation against this price resistance level right here. We'll want to watch that closely. If that happens to pop on through, um, we would have a nice opp opportunity in here to move uh, Mo up to the next level. So watch that closely. Mo could be setting up nicely. Take a look at these uh, cannabis stocks. Um, ACB, I've placed another alert here on ACB, uh, pushing up at kind of an ugly little consolidation uh, move here pulling back moving back up and now holding above this support again and um, any buy signal in here could certainly signal we go higher here in ACB you might want to keep an eye on that and we've seen we saw good moves um, yesterday in uh, Crone. Crone um, also holding up in here. So watch this. It's possible this could move on higher as well. So keep an eye on some of those cannabis stocks. Take a look at URI. URI, really nice trending pattern here. Moving on up. Breaking through this resistance right here is a pretty nice sign. And you can see we're just consolidating that move over toward the trend. I would want to watch this chart as it starts to move over to see if that can pop on up and break on through uh, that level. Really nice looking chart. Take a look at J&J. J&J, nice little move here. Johnson & Johnson moving up, consolidating across. Had a nice little pop yesterday that pulled back. This is, it is possible this could consolidate a little bit more, but with the market bullishness this morning, this could pop on up and look pretty good. So we'll want to keep an eye on J&J uh, this morning. Take a look at Dish. Dish moving up, breaking its downtrend. Everything's looking pretty good here on Dish. And yesterday, after this move up and pullback, Dish had some positive signals in here to pay attention to. Now, keep in mind, Dish could certainly move on over toward this trend before it pops on up. But that is certainly one to have on your list and something to keep an eye on and watch. And last two that I'm going to show you today is um, LMT. LMT 
um, showing a little bit of bullishness here, popping up yesterday, breaking my alert, and you can see this nice little trend after breaking its downtrend, breaking through these levels of resistance and holding up here. There's some good signs going on here in LMT and a chart you might wanna keep an eye on. And then WDC, WDC we've been keeping an eye on here in Rightway Options, and you can see that we had kind of an ugly move here, breaking down the trend, but um, notice that we held into this price support. Uh, buyers rejecting that low yesterday, pushing on higher. So WDC looking pretty good. We'll want to keep an eye on uh, that chart. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great, great day and an awesome weekend. Be careful not to chase into this morning gap. Let's make sure the buyers are actually going to step up and support this move after the gap. Remember, we have to respect price resistance. And whether or not we we, we, we all get that, that fear of missing out, we just, oh my gosh, I'm gonna miss out on this move if I don't rush in. But please understand, I can tell you after all of the years that I have traded, I, I never feel the need to rush into any trade whatsoever. Um, they always give me an opportunity uh, either either uh, on, on an intraday pullback or later on in the trend. So don't ever feel like you have to rush. There's never, there's never um, that, uh, that emotion of missing out that should affect the way you analyze the price action of the chart. Remember guys, price is king and resistance is very, very important in a chart. As we pop up next to those resistance levels, respect that resistance and watch that closely. Folks, if you're struggling as a trader, if you're having all of those, those challenges, I want to encourage you not to give up on your trading. I know it's difficult and working through some of those emotional um, trading aspects is really, really Really difficult trying to figure out what your niche is in uh, in the market but believe me it's worth it once you do figure it out so don't give up keep working hard at it and I want to wish everyone all the best great success and we'll talk to you all bright and early Monday morning have a good one